Okay, just for the record, right? There's um, some games are called hardcore. Okay, Agrarian Skies is called hardcore. It's actually very difficult to get started in that game, and it's you. Know, if you don't know what you're doing, or if you're unlucky, then you're going to starve to death quite often. And I was very lucky that things just came together quite quickly at Agrarian Skies. Blood and Bones lists itself as a difficulty level of masochistic. Basically, the world is out to get you. Okay, there's there's not any ambivalence in this one it's just out to get you um, there are 50 different types of creepers there are uh, skeletons all have caps so they can go out during the day and some of them will fire 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 arrows at you it, it makes don't starve look simple to be totally honest with you uh, it has a load of Tolkien inspired mobs in it and to capital you can't make the normal basic tool Minecraft tools, okay? So I'm not going to be able to make a wooden pickaxe at the right at the start. I'm going to have to use Tinker's constructs, and the uh, the simplest stuff you can make it out of is flint. So I'm going to have to find flint, and flint you you can craft out of gravel. So until I find flint, until I find gravel, I'm buggered. For tools it's as simple as that this is apparently loading it takes a while to load because it's got a massive number of mod packs on it and uh, quite frankly to be honest with you, we're probably not going to live as long as it's going to take it to load this game which is just part of the fun to be totally honest with you but here we go All right single player let's create a new world and we'll call it Sturcus Moritus Sum, which roughly translated means, oh shit, I'm going to die. So, with criminal world options, let's allow cheats just in case some things get buggy. Let's create the new world. There we go. So, no seed is going to be completely random. All right. Uh, you might as well give up H2O for H2SO4. Yeah, it's pretty much like that, to be totally honest. You don't drink water, drink acid instead. Right. Um, right, uh, to add to the, com the, the problems, okay, food loses effectiveness as you eat it. And uh, a, a lot of mods have that, you know, so you've got to cycle around through six different meals. In this game, uh, you've got to cycle through 30 different meals. Okay, so um, you're not going to get that level of effectiveness back to a food until you've eaten 30 different other things. Yes, the spice of life done to death. Um, it's going to have a huge number of infernal mobs and... Oh, basically, the planet's just out to get you. But it's got a nice roguelike dungeon in it that uh, um, is going to be absolutely great if we actually live that long. So... So a quick look at the map. Okay, there's a tower there, so we should actually aim to get up there. All right, that's that black circle there. But along there, okay, we're going to go up the desert and along the shore here. See if we can find some sand. And I also want to get some trees, and we're going to be looking for um plant types and things like that as often as we can because we desperately need food and as many different varieties as possible i would attack the pigs but to be totally honest with you they're going to gang up on me and they will probably win at this point so we'll not we'll not bother them just yet but at least here we've got a good chance of getting some cactus Grameliad. that's just a plant isn't it yeah it's just a plant Let's put that back. There we go. All right, and the trees aren't going to have time to flower yet. But some lovely trees in this. Lovely trees. Lovely trees. And the cactus fruit, which is going to give us cactus fruit. Yay! Oh, great. I don't want to get near that. That will just rip our face off and 
lay eggs down our neck or something. I just don't want to find out, to be honest with you. So let's just avoid that. Let's go round. And it's going our way. Don't go our way. Please don't go our way. Don't ignore us. We may be tasty, but we're simple peasant folk. We'll have some of that sugar. Well, we would have some of that sugar if the lag would let us. There we go, sugar. Um, if you see gravel and I don't, or clay and I don't, let me know, because we're desperately going to need some of that stuff. Please do shout out. Uh, grapes. Come on, unlag long enough to give them to me. Alrighty, okay, this is taking a while to load up a new world. It's always the case, unfortunately. Uh, wild seaweed, I don't know if that's good for us or not. We'll have it anyway. We'll have some more of this sugar. Excellent. And... Um, yep. Yeah, I quite agree with that. Uh, Remediad's not much use to me unless it's got some tiny frogs living in it, which I doubt if it has. Oh, what's that biome up there? Don't want to do any of this as much of this, as jumping as I am because it's just going to kill us. It's just making us hungry, and until we can make smoothies, this food is not much use to, much use to us. Oh, doesn't this place look nice? Ash block. I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to walk onto it. Uh, uh, no idea what that is. Oh no 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 no! We're already dead. We're already dead. Oh great. There we go, we're already dead. Quicksand. There you go. That quick. Ha ha ha. Yeah. And now we've got a fraction of the food and hit points that we started off with. Because, yeah, just giving you a fair whack when you start off would be too easy. But at least... There's loads of food here that we missed, so let's grab this. Yeah, quicksand! Yay! I've never works out what to do when you get into quicksand. I think the answer is, to be totally honest, would you die? Might as well take some of these seeds, seeing as they're there. Come on, little fat frog, how do you survive it? Yeah, I just didn't want to go into it, to be totally honest with you, because there's probably hell in that hell biome. Yes, with what tools, fat frog? Watch. You see how long it takes to dig sand? Well, quicksand is much, much slower. Much, much slower to dig through. It doesn't work unless you've got a good shovel on you. Oh, Christ, there's something that wants to kill me in the background. Oh, great. And I died. Respawn. No, you can't break each block in time with your hands in, in blood and bones. It's just not fast enough. In Life in the Woods, it's fair. So you can. In Blood and Bones, it's, it is distinctly unfair. This game is designed to be totally unfair. Okay, it's as simple as that. So don't assume that what you've seen in other games is the same in Blood and Bones. Uh, let's get some of this sugar on the way through. 
It's it's a kobold, but yes, I effectively got killed by a squirrel. It's embarrassing, really, isn't it? And until we get some tools, that's just going to carry on happening, basically. So um, let's get. Uh, let's find a cleric, a smaller tree. I don't know what that was. I don't want to know what that was. But I'm so curious about what that was. I've got to find out. Uh, well, okay, if it was down there, it can stay down there. <laughs> um, where am I going? All right, up there is hell. I actually want to go this way, I think. Let's grab one of these trees on the way through and see if we can actually survive this time. Oh, I just want to sprint. I so want to sprint. But if I sprint, I'm dead. Oh. Ah, dear, 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 dear. All right. Up we go. So we'll just curve around to the right. We'll go back to that tower because in the, at least in that tower we can block ourselves up and have a little bit of protection overnight. Uh, oh, quicksand. And you know, even if we could dig down fast enough and that, we'd probably die of hunger before we actually got anything out of it. So let's grab this wood. Oh, there's another one. There's another fun one. Okay, um, watch this. You know how you get four planks? You only get two in this game. Unless you've got a saw. You need a saw to uh, cut the planks four deep, uh, to get four planks out of the log. So we can't actually actually get a good return on these axes until we can mine stone. Just makes it even harder. And okay, we got some. Is that alive? Oh, this place just makes me so jumpy. And look, we're, we're actually starving, just cutting down these trees. Watch the hunger bar just plummet. Alright, and we're getting slow this now, so let's eat some of this food. Okay, so seaweed we're alright with, and rhubarb we're alright with. So let's eat one rhubarb. Okay, and then it says... Diminishing returns start after eating any food four more times. So we're actually all right eating this just now. Oh, that's too loud. Options, music, hunt, there. There we go, let's put it down to about there. There we go, and sound down to about 50%, excellent. Right. Does the four sticks thing, tensile thing work? It does. I'm surprised the trees don't fall down and kill you. I think if you shouldn't say that because you're probably giving the developer ideas. Let's get that last bit of log because I hate leaving trees. But let's do it anyway. Oh, sod this. I'll come back for that. I want to get into that tower. Yay! Explodey things! Right, so we found absolutely no... Um, we found absolutely no useful gravel, which means we can't start to make the tools just yet. But hopefully there'll be some in here. So what I want to do is, as it's also getting late, I want to find an entrance into here and block ourselves up. And we'll go through here during the nights.